Gang, what's up, man? Y'all know what's up, man. I'm back. I'm, I'm listening and learning at the same time. Listening. Shout out to Dame Dash, dog. He will be in Oakland. Um, tickets five hundred dollars. They said four hundred dollars. Um, but they teaching the teaching that they're gonna be teaching in Oakland, y'all. It's gonna be wild, and I think it's gonna do us black folks some justice, man. Um, uh, too short. I know you, you, you from Oakland. We need too short on this type of project too. We need every black rich person on this project. It'll help us, man. It'll help us in the long run, y'all. Um, I think we, the younger folks, been begging for this for years. Like, why do celebrities never put money towards communities uh, or, or towards uh, events or you know community funding events to help? Our black people, our black culture, because like they told us, they said the more we complain, it it they said it's beneficial to somebody else. Our complaints, only us though, only black people, right? I'm sitting here, I'm like, why? <clears throat> I hear white people complain, I hear Chinese, I hear Mexicans, I hear a lot of people complain, but why is ours only beneficial to the other cultures? Well, what they explain it makes so much sense because, like he said, um, uh, what they didn't teach the Moors back in school days that we was in control. Then we had the power. We was in control. But what they did was they mind swiped everybody and took that out and they made them number one and blacks number two and so on and so forth. So when you look at the food chain of race, we're at the bottom right now. Right. And if we topple the food chain, blacks will be at the top and who will be at the bottom? The whites, they're on top right now. Um, so Dame Dash 19 Key, shout out to y'all brothers um, <clears throat> and earn your leisure, EYL. You know, they, they they putting something together out there real interesting for us, y'all, black people. And I had to get on my uh, platform and I want to spread that message because we don't got a lot of that message coming from blacks. When black people get something knowledgeable like that, I know in my city, in my state, black people to hold that knowledge to themselves, which is by far the wrongest thing to do. What they don't know is God tend to snatch that from you. He'll punish you behind holding that knowledge. I don't think he put knowledge out there for you just to hold on for yourself. And because the world is more bigger and vaster than yourself. Like Dame Dash just said, when you create a business or a company, you don't supposed to just think about yourself. Your career and your company are always supposed to come along with helping others. And that's what I told people. Yo, when my platform go big, I'm helping everybody, you know, because I don't got time to get it took back from me. I don't got that. Just as he gave it, he'd take it from me. So, you know, it'd be my job, my obligation to help. Others, everybody that want to be helped, everybody that wants to be helped, not the people who don't deserve to be helped and don't want help, but the ones who's actually in the same foot and I'm in, they really looking for help. So that's the thing. And that's what um they doing. You know, <clears throat> I think that's one of the most knowledgeable things. I believe so. I believe that's real knowledgeable game. Um, and I think we need to take take full advantage of that, you know, take full advantage of that. Definitely right away you know don't be indecisive on that um as if we do be you know sometimes but i think for that matter for that matter i think we should go ahead and take that matter in our hands and run with it and try to learn from it and gain some more knowledge you know um pick up where you left off at yeah you might slip up sometimes you might hey even myself i don't slipped up out of a little cigarette up and stuff like that yeah you might slip that's not what's teaching me though you feel me like uh, Shaq said, the degree ain't make him rich. You know, him going to school didn't teach him how not to, you know, do the evilness or do nothing. But it was certain ways and other things that he had to learn to get rich. He had to learn to get that. And that's what we in the midst of, you know. That's the key they kept from us. They want us to work all day. Like he just said, nine to five, they want us to work, you know. And that's only building, you know, Mr. Robert building bigger, making his corporation bigger. But now when it comes to our corporation, after I get home from my nine to five, I'm dead tired. I don't got a corporation built because I just helped Mr. Robert build his. You know, I go there and that's what I do. And Dame Dash, when he said that, he put that in such a format that, you know, it's a language that we understand. You know, every black person say that, gang. Like, man, I'm tired of working for the white man. You know, well, they never told you that we was meant to own things, gang. We was in control. It wasn't us working for the white man, you know. Yeah, years ago, but see, we never know that we don't do enough research on our culture, on who we is, on what we used to do, our background, what we eat, what we enjoy to do, what we used to love, how we made sacrifices, how we made offerings. Um, we don't do that no more. You know, I just, I just, I was saying to myself the other day, we so busy studying everybody else's culture that we don't even know who we really are. You know what I'm saying? And that's sad. The black people don't even know where they came from. You know, yet alone do they care. I think a lot of black people in this country gang now, you know, they only care just to wake up, live. And I don't even know if they care where they're going to go when they die. You know, um, 
it, it shows that a lot of people don't care for the careers no more because people don't got careers now. You know, like I said, Mr. Robert, the white man, Uncle Sam, they took the careers and they giving us jobs for them. They, it ain't no black owners, you know, and that's that's sad. It's becoming even sad because we're getting played into this, you know, and we so smart that we don't see it. Yet we plan into it, you know, and <laughs> hate to say it, but it's like, yo, once it's done, only thing they can say is, well, you knew this was taking place. You know, you had opportunity and that's exactly what they're going to say, Black America. So, you know, the thing that's going to take place in Oakland, if y'all can't get there, if you online, watch it. Make sure you pay attention. Make sure everything that you're watching online now be more so about learning and educating yourself for these next four to five years. Because what's going to take place is not going to be funny, Black people. I'm going to tell you. And we're going to be the only one that it take place with. So <clears throat> as y'all see me pumping out both channels, I'm trying hard to move past that limit you know the limitation where they put us at you know where they don't want you to uh surpass everyone else at yeah and and if i keep going this route i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there most definitely because as i watch youtube i'm seeing a group of the same people my culture my color making it there you know they're doing the same steps i've taken like 19 key said you never reached your highest level until you keep stepping you can't stop stepping you know like the young brother said yesterday, if your if your video or whatever you doing haven't reached a billion, you haven't reached your success level. You keep going, you repost, you repost, you reiterate. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's about, gang. And each one reach one, teach one. It's too much, you know, uh, conflict and and problems going on versus teaching in our black community. That's another reason we'll stay lost in the sauce. Not everybody. I definitely won't be lost in the sauce, not behind this learning. You know, I know how to take it and I know how to run with it. And the best thing is I know how to execute. So that's what we're into. We're into executing. We're into running with the plans. We're into making it happen. It don't matter the time limit. It don't matter what nobody else think about what you're doing. You do it as long as you get there. You see, because somebody else will tell you, you ain't there because they don't see you where they want you to be at. That's not the case. The whole dream and the chase is to chase your dream, not your job. The thing, the thing is to chase your dream. That's your goal, man. To own something, to be on top of something, to have wealth, not finances. Finances you can spend up. Wealth is what they tell you. Justin Bieber and them got when you can, you know, uh, fund your friends and them to go to Six Flags for the rest of your life. That's wealth. That's wealthy. That means after he died, his children still can eat, and everybody else after them. That's wealth. Black people don't got that. Not one black person got that. We don't even got inheritance no more. You know, I think inheritance stopped. With our grandma and grandparents, when they used to leave money for y'all to, you know, make it a little bit. Nowadays in 2023, our culture don't got that. Not my generation. My generation ain't got nothing to leave behind. And that's sad because we're dying faster than, you know, you got time to create something to leave behind. They got my generation working to 60 just to leave something behind. Who says you're going to make it to 60? And, and, and the way the world is going right now, how fast pace and all these kids, who says that? You know, the time is now. The time is now, America. That's what it is. The time now. Don't 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 ever get yourself caught up out there and use your mind, man. You know, don't be scared. Take risks. That's the thing. They scared us into the scarcity not to move and be able to do the things that we can do. You know, instead they put it to us like, no, that's impossible. No, you can't do that. No, I take too much time. No, that ain't what you no. Listen, we don't see no white people doing it. We don't. You don't see white people doing that. White people do not limit themselves to what they can and can't do. You don't see Chinese people doing it. You don't see no other culture but the idiot black ones. And that's sad because we make ourselves idiots. Ain't nobody put a gun to our head and make us these idiots we became. You know, and um, I can say that for a fact because I don't see nobody around me researching the stuff I'm paying attention to or watching, nor do they care for it, like I told you. So it's like if I go to the hood, I don't got my hood niggas researching this. These cats are still going to be down there on the corner selling the same drugs that, you know, they've been selling for years and making the same moves and making the same requests, getting the same results that they've been getting for years. Now, if I go down there and I uh, iterate their brain with something like this or I put a video on for them like this, maybe it would change the insight. Maybe, like uh, 19 Key said, it's not about that you don't know what to do. We know what to do, but we don't know how to get there. We don't know how to execute the plan. That's what it is. So maybe they don't know how to do that. Or we might find out that the black people don't care. They already in a day and age to where they feel like they stuck, you know, like older folks, older folks. They get so old and in their lifetime, they get stuck in their ways. They're like, you know what? I hear what you're saying, but my life is this now. It is what it is. And you got to leave that attitude behind somewhere. That's a slave mentality attitude. It is what it is. No, it is what we make it. It is what we make it, man. 
I love y'all, man. I am out. Y'all make sure y'all go pay attention to 19 Keys, uh, 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 EYL, and go listen to Dame Dash. You feel me? Um, I think they got some knowledge for us, man. It's going to help us black people. It really is because tell y'all something. We a little bit too late on this train trying to catch up. Like they said, we late for Bitcoin. We late for housing. We late for everything. You know, at the end of the day, black people don't own nothing. We rent everything. We even rent our own lives, y'all. We renting our lives, man. You feel me? Black people don't run nothing. We don't control nothing. It's time to get in control of something. You know, <clears throat> that's that's the thing. God run our lives. They really don't. God run our lives. <clears throat> Let me tell you that. So, because I had to learn that the hard way. I don't run my life. God run it. When I when I used to think I was running my life, man, I went through so much, so many problems, so many problems. And everybody's telling me, hey, get up here. Everybody's telling me the same thing. You don't run your life. You don't run your life. Okay, hurry up. You don't run your life. God, ready. And nine of them 33, I understand that. I understand exactly what that means. You know, I'd be a fool to sit here and say, no, I'll run my life. No, if that was the case, I would be right where I wanted to be. I would be somewhere in Dubai. I would be somewhere, you know, way on top of a, 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 a penthouse. You know, who's that? You just got done. He done. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, let's learn to listen, man. Like, learn. Watch them boys. They teaching us some stuff that us men need to know. Because look, the, the women ain't. This ain't the route for women. If y'all notice that they would have women all on these segments and events. It's for the men to notice to take it back to the household, and then you fill it in your household, and your household pick up on it, and they run with it. You know, it's not your fault if nobody else run with it. Let it be. So be it. You, you'll see them in a, in the near future time. But what they teach him right now is for right now. So everybody get it, get the lesson and get going, man. You know, I love y'all. Y'all make sure y'all stay up uh, and stay safe, stay out the way and keep learning. Hey, another thing the white man told me yesterday, no, no, no disrespect to y'all white people, um, you know, but he said every day, do something hard, do something hard every day to train yourself on getting used to the uncomfortableness. He said, when you start to do stuff hard, you you tend to, you know, become a little more uh, successful in the areas where you don't want to do stuff. You know, lazy, probably, I don't feel like doing it. I don't want to do it. Yeah. You know, you, you get more successful in those areas. And that's what leads you to success as far as wealthiness. You feel yeah. me? Because you build this, um, you build this routine about yourself, about how to go about things and how to, you know, get comfortable doing the uncomfortable which is success, you know, but right now we comfortable with where we're at. This comfortable. That's why, that's why we, where we at, we too comfortable. You know, we got comfortable on that step that it's like, we don't want to take a step up. And, um, me personally, I got to get out that level game. That's what I'm like. I'm trying to reach the highest level. Like 19 key said, the highest level is not here. It's not this. You feel me? So I'm out gang. Pay attention to y'all. Y'all go watch the video. Gang, 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 what's up, man? This your boy, Carter Slaughter, man. Welcome back to the Street University. I'd like to thank all y'all who came out, you know, gave me a little bit of your time by coming to my channel, both channels, watching the video. I really appreciate y'all, man. And those of y'all that did not hit the subscribe button as you step in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Those of y'all that did not hit that like button as you step in or step out, you feel me? Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. Make sure my views match my likes, gang. So y'all can keep me in the algorithm and keep me moving and grooving, you feel me? How y'all have been doing, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all already know I love y'all. Without y'all, it wouldn't be a me. So, man, I'm out.